Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another TBR jar picks my TBR for the month. We are getting into June, so I'm gonna be doing my June TBR. I'm going to be picking some prompts from this jar based off of those prompts. I'm gonna look at what I have on my TBR and then I will add those to my TBR. So I'm really excited. I love these type of videos. You guys love them. It helps me to read books that have been on here for a long time but that I probably would not reach for if I did not do this. I think that is all I have to say. Let's go ahead and get into the video. I think I'm gonna pick six out of here. I still have a few books left on my TBR from May. I don't know. I hope I can get through those by the end of this month. I have about 10 days left in the month, so I'm hoping that I can get through them. If not, I might carry over a little bit, so I'm gonna add six to June and then probably have a little bit more of what is left in this month. That's a lot of explaining, so let's just go ahead and pick our prompts. I did add a few more in here. We have some purple in here now, so let me give you guys a full view. This is what the cart looks like. Let's go ahead and pick out the first one. First one is a book with a pretty cover. So I don't think I've gotten this one since I've started to do this video. So this is a fun one. Okay, well, I absolutely love the color of this book. So this is definitely an option. Let's see, I feel like this one I really liked and I bought it because the cover is super cute. I wouldn't say it's necessarily pretty, but I do love like the illustration on there. This one's pretty colorful, but I don't know about that one. See, this one I absolutely love the cover of this book. This is so pretty. This is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. It is a fantasy book. Obviously love this cover as well. So this is an option. I just read the first book and I loved it. Down on the bottom row, I love this cover. I cannot get it out, but there's so many options. This one I always talk about is really pretty. Quite a few options for this one, actually. So we have Ruthless Vows. This is absolutely stunning. I love this cover so much, especially with taking off the sleeve here. I think this is just so pretty. I love this color blue. Also love this cover, the gold accent on it. I think it's just so beautiful. Love this cover. This one is just so, so pretty. And then we also have Wild Love. As much as I would love to pick this, I think it's between these two out of like my favorite colors. I am currently in the middle of Chestnut Springs, so I'm not going to pick this one quite yet. I think I'm going to go with Ruthless Vows, which is actually so exciting. I've been wanting to read this for so long, but I haven't gotten a prompt yet where I can add it to my TBR. So I finally am adding this. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this. This one's being added for sure. <laughs> Alrighty, next pick. Let's see what we have. I always get this one. It says, try to pick up again. So a book that I've started and did not finish for some reason, whether I was in a book slump or I didn't enjoy it. Let's go through and see what I have. I've started this one. I feel like I've tried to start this so many times. Um, Ugly Love. Honestly, I just need to take this off. I'm, I'm gonna take that off. I don't think I'm gonna read it. I believe these two are my options here. So yours truly, I wanna say I'm at least like five chapters into this. And I honestly was not, it was not that bad. If you guys have been keeping up with these videos, I did not enjoy Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. Honestly, one of my least favorite books that I've ever read. So I was very, very hesitant to get into this, but I this was on, I wanna say this was on my TBR a few months ago and I did start it. Maybe it was last month even. Yeah, I wanna say I got like five chapters in. And honestly, I was, it wasn't bad. Like I was enjoying it. There was a few weird parts, but I feel like I'm gonna go with this one. I did try to start this one this month and this was for a video for like reading my subscribers favorite books. And I think, let me see. I wanna say I got like two chapters in. I have a bookmark in here, but I don't think that's, cause I was also reading it on my Kindle. So I don't think that's where I was at in it, but this gave me weird vibes. This was talking about, it talked a lot about like eating and like her mom was like very judgmental with how she looked and while I was reading this, I was struggling with like those issues myself, so I had to put it to the side. So I will probably try to pick this back up, but it's not gonna be right now. So I'm gonna try to read this one again. I'm actually kind of excited to have this one. Okay, let's pick number three. A book with a different color spine. I feel like I have gotten this one in the past too. I need some new ones. I feel like I need to mix this up. Okay, a book with a different color spine. So first one we have is One True Loves. This one has a green spine. Um, The Late We Lost is another one. 
these are my only options here. So we have The Light We Lost by Jill Santopolo. I'm pretty sure this is a second chance romance. And then this one I think is also a second chance romance. It's a little bit different plot than anything I've ever read. I haven't read a TJR book in a very, very long time. I think the last one I read was Malibu Rising, which was over a year ago. I might do this one because this has been on my TBR for a really, really long time. So this book is also like extremely heavy for some reason. I, I think I might do this one. Actually, that's a lie. I did try to read Daisy Jones in the six. I don't know how long ago that was. That was definitely over like six months ago, but I DNF'd it because I did not enjoy it. It was so boring, you guys. Don't come for me. I know a lot of people like that book, but I found it to be extremely boring. So I DNF'd that. So yeah be interesting to get into another book okay we have three romance books so far i need to pick a different genre here i love romance but sometimes well i guess divine rivals i don't really know what that's considered i feel like it's a romance but it's also kind of a fantasy all right let's see a book with over 400 pages <laughs> okay let's see what my options are this is definitely one of them this is 800 something pages so actually let me see how long these books are Oh yeah, this is definitely over 400 pages. This is a good contender because I need to continue this series. I feel like a lot of these are over 400 pages. Yeah, like all of these are. What was I thinking when I made this prompt? These are all over 400 pages, Alyssa. What are you thinking? So pretty much I have free reign here. <laughs> I think, that, no, I don't want to do another romance. You guys, I really want to read this book so badly, but I just feel like I don't have time right now i feel like this is a winter book but i do really want to read it is this one over 400 this is 398 pages that's so sad <laughs> that is so sad okay this is really hard because ideally at this point i would do a book that's part of the akatar series the next book that i would be reading is a court of frost and starlight which is less than i think i think it's like 200 pages i don't even know that's so annoying that i would get this prompt when i'm about to like be into that book so anyways you guys i think it's time i think it's time <laughs> i'm so scared to read this i can't believe this is actually happening okay i am going to attempt to start a little life i actually did try to start this a while ago i was really really struggling there was so many characters it was just really hard to i don't know like keep up with everyone and I was just really confused. I think it's time. I'm gonna try to start it again. I think I'm gonna read it on my Kindle because I feel like that will be a little bit easier for me. This book is really heavy. Like, if you don't know, this book breaks you from what people have said. So that's why I am really nervous. But also, I feel like it will be really good for me to read something like this rather than just a regular romance. Okay guys, we got two more prompts. I feel like that was a good one. That was a different one from what I've normally got. A book with a place in the title. This is another new one. Okay. I don't know if I have any of these. Oh, first one I see is A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. I believe this takes place in New York, so that's a good option. I don't know if I have any more. I feel like this is, yeah, this is definitely the only one I have. I guess I'm adding another literary fiction. <laughs> oh, this might not be good, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't normally read literary fiction, so I really don't know if I'll get to this, but I have to choose it because it's the only one that I have with a place in the title. We got one more prompt left. I really want to get a purple one, but a book that's hyped online. There's so many. There's so many books. <laughs> Let's see. Reckless is definitely hyped, but that's another romance. Ideally, I want a mystery thriller. A Thousand Boy Kisses, that, is, that was a, like an OG TikTok book. Shatter Me for sure. The Naturals, Ballad of Never After. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue is another hyped book for sure. I feel like these are all hyped, you guys. I buy books that are hyped online. <laughs> I really wanna do like a shorter book. I think I'm gonna continue Once Upon a Broken Heart because it was just so good. So I'm gonna do The Ballad of Never After. I feel like this is a lot of people's favorite book of the series. I'm very excited to add this one on there. And that is the last book that I'm adding to my TBR for this month. Okay, let's go ahead and do a recap. I feel like I made a good dent in my TBR cart, so I'm very happy about that. Let me, I'm actually gonna move some of these books. I'm gonna move my hardcovers because those are really hard to get out. The first book that I have is Ruthless Vows. This is the second book after Divine Rivals, if you did not know. Um, this is by Rebecca Ross, and this is like a YA fantasy book. It's like a romance, but also a fantasy. I would say it's a little bit of both. 
I've heard that this one focuses more on the fantasy aspect of it, so I think that will be interesting. The first book left off on a cliffhanger. I bought this right when it came out. I think it was I want to say it was end of December that it came out, so I've had this for almost six months and I really need to get into it. The first one I wasn't obsessed with. I did like it, but I feel like I didn't like it as much as other people did. I do really want to, you know, finish the duology, so. Second book is Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. You guys know how I feel about this author, but I am trying to give her another chance. Like I said, I did start this and I wasn't not loving it so i feel like that's a good sign so far so the main character in this is the best friend of the main character in a part of your world both of the main characters are doctors i think this touches a lot on like social anxiety and kind of navigating that so i've heard that's why a lot of people enjoy that i've heard so many good things about her new book just for the summer and i really want to love it like i want to read it so bad and enjoy it so we'll see how i feel about this one and if i enjoy it then i'll probably pick up her new book Next we have One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is another romance book. The plot of this is that the main character, she is married and I believe her husband gets in like a plane crash or something. She remarries this other guy. Then they end up finding out that her original husband is not actually, did not actually die in the plane crash and that he is alive. That is all in the back here. That's not any spoilers or anything, but I feel like that is such an interesting premise to a story. I've heard so many mixed reviews on this book. I've had subscribers comment that they loved it and also people comment that they did not love it. So I think it will be interesting to get into another one of her books. Like I said, I DNF'd the last one of hers that I read. Yeah, I really enjoyed Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and Malibu Rising was okay. It wasn't like anything special. I think it'll be interesting to read another one of her books. I do enjoy her writing other than Daisy Jones, so. Next one we have is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. I think that's how you say it. I struggle with that every time. This is a massive book. This is over 800 pages and I know it's gonna take me a long time to get through. I probably will not get through it in June. I will probably read it kind of like sporadically unless I really, really am into the story and wanna keep reading. But people have said to take this very slowly and just like don't break yourself reading it pretty much. Yeah, I think it just follows four college classmates. I don't remember if it's their time in college or their time after college. Also, if you are going to read this, I would 100% check trigger warnings before you get into this because it's very emotional and just talks about a lot of hard topics. The next book I have is A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. I was wrong. I just looked it up. This is actually an autobiography, so this tells a story about let me see what is her name it tells the story of francie nolan and her bittersweet formative years growing up in the williamsburg slums of brooklyn new york at the turn of the 20th century it says in 1943 i feel like this book is probably going to be a little bit slower but maybe i will listen to this on audiobook i feel like that will be a good way to at least get into it and then once we kind of get into it maybe i'll pick it up but I haven't heard really anyone talking about this. I honestly picked it up because I thought that the cover was really pretty. Yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to get into it though. And the last book we have is The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. This is the second book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy. I just read the first one this month in a video. If you haven't seen that reading vlog, go check that out. It is reading my subscribers' favorite books. And I absolutely loved it so much. It was almost a five star for me, honestly. You guys will have to go watch that to see my full thoughts on it. But I am so excited to get into the second one. Yeah, the first one left off very interesting. So we will see how this one continues. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for your continued support and love on my YouTube channel. I truly am so grateful. I say this all the time, but I am so grateful for all of you for continuing to watch my videos if you guys have read any of the books that i picked definitely let me know in the comments let me know your thoughts and opinions and all of that if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys